Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. This is a gift from patron Saint Rob Holla. Rob Holla, your patron saint of whiskey. Okay. I like this. This is an independent bottled Highland Park. Okay, Calvert. So Woodley. we're gonna compare it to the classic Highland Park 12. Nice. I have never heard of Calvert Woodley. Here's I why. I have heard of Highland Park, obviously. I'm excited about this because I need to add to them, which reminds me, I'm gonna take a photo. Yes. I need to add them to my list of American in independent bottlers. Oh, so they're an American company. They're a DC store. Uh, a liquor store. I see what you did there. Who they have. Uh, so, just just really quick. Yeah. In the world of distribution and laws, there is a delightful little loophole called DC. Yeah, Washington DC. And anyway, things happen in DC. It's like if it happens in DC, what happens in DC stays in DC. Except they get shipped everywhere else. It's like the real Vegas. You know yeah. That Vegas rule that everybody says that's nonsense. The DC rule. It really does. That's stay, a yeah. thing. <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, so these guys are a retail store. Yeah. That gathered together and sort of grew and yeah, expanded, yeah, yeah. but it's just a local store with local employees and staff. Yeah. And they have sourced single cask independent bottles of scotch. That's very cool. For their own retail That's store. Very cool, yeah. Now look at the color on that. There's a reason 12 why. 12 year old Highland Park. There's a reason why Highland Park comes in dark bottles. Mm -hmm. Because it looks so no. light. What I'm about to show you is what color the current Highland 12 does not look like. Okay. Which is this. Oh, is, are they saying there's some, is there either? E-150, baby. All right. All right. So they got it unmolested. What? All right, this is the original Highland Park 12, which you can't really get as often because now it's the Viking <laughs> honor, Let me show right? Show the thing. Look at that. So. <laughs> huh, interesting. <laughs> 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 I wonder if Highland it's Park delicious. is using it. I love Highland Park. This, honestly, whiskey. Well, because look, if I bought that for a 12 year old whiskey and I didn't know whiskey, I would walk right past that. Right. So, this is one of the reasons why, in the E150 conversation, the topic, is it annoying? Yes. Do I really care? No. No. Because it's, it's, from best we can tell, it's not screwing up the taste. Yeah. It is kind of condescending, but not aimed at me. Yeah. They're trying to get in front of people. So if, if given, I was mass producing, if given the option, I would say, hey, don't do the E150. That's nonsense. But yeah. does it ruin the whiskey for me? It does not. If it's something that's good, I'm still going to drink the hell you out of it. You know how you solve that problem? Yeah. Just dark bottles. That's, <laughs> like, yeah. that's literally it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just forget E150A. Yeah? Just use dark bottles like Laphroaig or, right. or the Ardbegs, right? Those, when you pour them, are like, wow, that's really bright. So is, did you? Just bring up a bottle, have yeah. the glasses for the bottle, and didn't pour the. No, thing? I said it here because we're going to start with this, and then we're going to come back to but it. But it can be air; it can be breathing, though. Are you trying to tell me how to song? I don't want you to forget. I, I'm not forgetting. You I'm have, getting to drink extra Highland Park. Did you forget the chain whenever we started shooting? Yes, but that's that's not whiskey. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, see, I love me, Highland Park. It reminds me of Highland Park. <laughs> <laughs> So musty, honeysuckle, and vegetation. Yeah. So like, so when you ever walk past a jasmine or a, a bush or a honeysuckle vines, yeah. and you get that dense, sweet honey note, but you also get the green ivy and the earth yeah. and the dirt. It's like a, there's a mossy forest next mm -hmm. to the ocean. Yeah, and it is briny. Yeah. It smells wonderful. They proved it down to 42.5, or it was 42.5. Yeah. Um, that is, is it lower than the typical Highland Park release? Maybe it's just because they just had a cask drink. No, it's the same. It 43 little, for the normal one. Feels a little soft, but it's... It does, and uh, the palate, the sweetness isn't really there. Um, I get the saltiness. But the saltiness is, and the mustiness of the earth mm -hmm. is, you know what? We really don't need both of these up here because just from our glasses alone, you can tell which one we're really? drinking and talking about. Is What's the age difference? They're the same. They're both 12. And then 
Was there a finishing on the Highland part? No, it's just it's whatever they used to barrel inside the Highland Toll. There's classic release. There's more of a, of a sweet vanilla cream on the Highland part. This is a single cask. It could be that this was a bourbon cask and that was a blend of sherry and bourbon casks. Okay, because there is a noticeable difference. Obviously, the, the, the core of these, the soul of these are the same. But there is a noticeable difference on the nose. The wrapper around both of these. Yeah. This is more. Ah. Like, this is more briny and salty. This, this is, is more, more of a sweet vanilla cream. Yeah, and bready and. Yeah. I gotta say, I like the classic Highland Twelve in the nose a lot better. It does feel like you can pick out a spectrum of flavors more obviously and easily. This is just gonna be. It's nice if you like the brininess and the shiny. And the this mossy. is actually tasting closer to Oban or. Uh, sh this could even be a Deanston. Well, if I is, was no, it's not malt funk enough for a Dean. It's gonna be a very simple word. The Highland Parks is just sweeter. Yeah, and more jammy. Yeah, it's just have some more sweeterness. It does have a bit of the brininess, but mm -hmm. it is balanced up against an obvious sweetness that I'm not finding. I think in this the Woodley. shows the superior palate choices that a blender gets to make inside right. of a distillery, you know where they're mixing casks you know and they can develop discovered. something. We what? just discovered. E-150's delicious. Yeah, <laughs> scientifically <laughs> accurate. All right, right, right. Don't no no discussion. No, the reason need why to talk about it. The reason why that's not a fair comparison at all because you said this is a single barrel. Yeah, and they're pulling whenever they're doing a big release. Hundreds. They have a profile that or people are powerful. expecting, and they're blending together their barrels mm -hmm. to nail that profile. This right. is a single barrel. So you get what you get. So you may or may not like the barrel, but yeah. you get what you get with that. Well, barrel. single barrel is always fun because it's more often than not going to be something that is recognizable to that thing that you love that was blended yeah. together, a profile that was blended together with multiple tons of barrels. You could see the Venn diagram overlap of this whiskey. But then whiskey you're going to have an emphasis in some direction that's going to be unique to that barrel. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Uncle Nike's World Rex's opening comment makes me, oh, we already did that. Go away. Jamie. Hi, man. Ferguson? Not Jamie. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hi, man. Not Jamie. Hi, okay. hey, hi, man. Thank you for phonetically spelling that out for me. Hi, man. Not Jamie. Okay. Hold on. So Brianna was sober in all of those videos. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was my. I told it to Brianna. Right. Oh, it was like we got a comment, and it was like, "So are you telling me that in all those videos you guys did, yeah. Brianna was sober?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> then she was like, "I know." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she said, "I get that all the time." <laughs> Uh, so she, she's in the studio a few days out of the week. Those days, we're still productive. Yeah, just a little bit less so. Uh, just there's a lot of hijinks. Like, there's a lot of messing around. Uh, Jim Neary, Rex is looking like an undercover cop in a Terrible's '90 movie where he winds up being the bad guy. <laughs> that's when you. That's when you wore that brown leather jacket to the video. That uh, three quarter cut. It was really cold in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, I mooched that from my dad. I know, I was gonna, ah! I wish you hadn't mm, said mm, that! Mm. Because I was about to say, I yeah. will bet you any amount of money in your pockets yeah. that you took that from your dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I, There's no way you went oh. shopping for a leather jacket. No, I was about to say, I haven't bought, I haven't bought clothes in years. Yeah. But I have, though. I bought these jeans. Those are new jeans? Yeah, I got a pair of jeans. Where did you get them? Uh, Target. And figures. Brandy goes to Target all the time. You know what? You know what cut they are? Slim cut. Yeah. Stretch. Are they stretch though? Because that's how you know. Why would you ask me that? That's how you know you got real jeans. Why would you ask? Because they're stretch jeans. They stretch pretty good. Good. Yeah. Pretty good. Are they maternity? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. Finish you bastard! <laughs> I couldn't finish it. <laughs> we go to the men's department. <laughs> maternity <laughs> jeans. It's called sweatpants, you dick. <laughs> That's called for the guys who gain sympathy weight. That's very funny. They have, they have maternity jeans in the men's That's department. That's very funny, Jim Neary. You know, there, there, gosh, this is well off the beat. <laughs> there is actually some hormonal thing that happens whenever a guy's wife goes pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say. Just turn into a wuss. <laughs> so I have three kids. It's fine. Here's the fighting steal you drink. <laughs> if you fight me, fight for friends. If you steal, if you steal your liver, sorry. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.